Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm near Havasu City, Arizona. What am I doing back down here? Well, I was in Flagstaff, Sholo. The weather forecast said it's going to get cold. I think uh, last night in Flagstaff, it got down to 5 degrees. Or thereabouts, depending on where you were in town. Um, while I was in the upper elevations, I did some tests with Miss Gypsy. And I never have had this RV in really cold weather. Now, as you know, I've had Miss Gypsy for about a year now. Um, the whole underside, she sprayed with spray foam insulation. And my valves for my gray and black water tank, they are in an enclosed uh, spot up under the RV. And my furnace blows hot air down into that cavity. Uh, storage bin. That's the word I was using. Cavity. I got, I got something else on my brain. But, uh, so I've got this, uh, where's it at? I've got this little temperature reader right here that tells me the temperature on the inside of the rig and in the storage compartment underneath. Well, when I was in Sholo, and it got down to, I think it was 18 degrees, my storage area went down to 31, 32. So I think the limits of Miss Gypsy was somewhere probably around 15 degrees, 16 degrees. And I also have tank heaters as well, but I didn't have anything in the tanks, so I didn't turn those on. Now 15 degrees is not too shabby. And maybe, you know, maybe I could go down to 10 if I turn the furnace up high enough. Uh, take a couple hours for any freeze damage to occur. But that's really, now I'm flirting with disaster. <laughs> but I feel confident 15, 18 degrees in Miss Gypsy. But who wants to stay in that kind of weather anyway? Not me. People ask me if all the RVs that I've had, and in my little uh, opening here, uh, I just show just a, just a handful, not not everything that I've had. But that Bigfoot Class, uh oh, I'm shaking the camera. That Bigfoot Class C, it was made to go to minus 30 Fahrenheit. And I think of all of my RVs that I've had, that's the one I miss the most. I miss my brown camper van sometimes. I miss the Bigfoot. But I'm kind of liking Miss Gypsy pretty good though too. Man, I like Miss Gypsy a lot too. We got a lot of room. It's comfortable. It's easy to drive. Tucker, how would you know if it's easy to drive? This thing is not easy to drive. If I were, if I were gonna get another class if I were going to get another RV, where's Martini? Baby May Mays. Okay. I'd get a Class C again. Because Miss Gypsy can be a handful to drive. Now you guys would be real proud of me to know that I have finally oiled, greased up my screen door and my entry door coming into Miss Gypsy. I bought a can of WD-40. You know what? I can't find it. Big tall can. So the other day I was in the store and I bought a little can of 3-in-1 dry lube. And uh, 
sprayed the hinges on on both sides, inside and out. And uh, so when, whenever I open the door on video, it won't be any more. <laughs> it got to where it's kind of driving me crazy too. So no more, it's fixed. Let me show you something that I've done here that uh, I'm really, really, really happy with I did in the Class A. I put up this curtain rod here, and I've talked about it a little bit in some other videos, but uh, I got this curtain rod at Home Depot, and I think the rod was around 20 bucks. And then I got some heavy duty rod holders or curtain rod holder. So what I do, I take that screw loose and the one on the other side, tilt that over, put the rod in and uh, put the screws back in. But I bought these heavy duty curtains here. They're made for uh, like basement glass doors, sliding doors. And I bought, I've actually got three, but one uh, one pair I don't have on yet. Very, very nice fabric, very heavy duty. And I tell you what, it's a lot easier, it's a lot easier than putting those curtains up across the front. And I think it looks nicer. And it keeps more heat heat and cold whatever I'm trying to keep out or keep in the RV Does that make sense so this is one of the the best things that I have done to my class a and I may buy one more panel and put these uh, back to back and double the thickness but I tell you what it's, it, it works pretty good just like it is. I may not have to. Isn't that pretty? I got that off eBay. It's called Taupe. And, uh, yeah. Each panel was about $20 delivered. But you fix one thing and it causes another problem. Now I'm a real pretty painting here of my favorite camping spot up in Clayton, Georgia. Is kind of covered all the time right so I want to have to find another place in the RV to put that it's not hurting it but it's just too pretty to hide a lady saw one of my videos for everybody that's new a lady saw one of my videos where uh, I was up in Clayton and uh, she she wrote me she says can I paint a picture of your favorite camping spot and I said absolutely and then she sent it to me. And I, I was just I was just floored. Isn't that beautiful? And I said, uh, ma'am, let me let me pay you for all your trouble. And she's like, uh, uh no hun. She's like, you you can't afford me. <laughs> so she's a very talented, well known artist, but she doesn't want me to tell she doesn't she doesn't want me to tell her name. But anyway, I gotta find another spot in this R V to put it. And I've got it held on with Velcro. It's going to be a nightmare to get off. And I don't think there's any way that tape's going to come off this wallpaper without tearing it. Well, I'll figure something out. I'll do something even if it's wrong. We have had just terrible, terrible winds here. This whole RV was rocking last night. It woke me up several times. I think we're getting gusts over 50, 60 miles an hour. There's Miss America hiding up there in front of Miss Gypsy. One of the other reasons that I'm here, <laughs> y'all get these dogs' teeth fixed up? Oh, mine started giving me some trouble. So, uh, I have found a really, really good dentist down here. And once I'm gone, I'll share it. But, uh, see, I gotta go back tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's a long story. Well, I had x-rays of my mouth, my teeth, and everything. So we can't find a cavity. Got in there and checked and checked and checked. 
He says, your teeth are in great shape, especially to be 50 years old. And uh, I, I don't like going to the dentist. I don't. But uh, I've always tried to take real good care of my teeth. And people say, did you have braces? I said, nope. I just got lucky. <laughs> but uh, anyway, they couldn't find anything wrong. Said my the couple fillings that I have are in good shape. I think I've been eating too many grapes. Got my teeth are kind of sensitive and, and got them got them to hurting. But I'm gonna go back tomorrow and get my teeth polished. Over. Now I know my video is all over the place today. Y'all just gonna have to put up with me. Just trying to keep catch everybody up to what I'm doing. So coming this way from the Tonto National Forest. I went through Phoenix, bumper to bumper on I-10. What was I thinking? But uh, got into town and I uh, was at a red light and the wolf pack started barking. And they jumped up on the dash and I looked over. And the guy had a dog tied up in the back of his truck. Take a look at this little video clip. I see that wolf wolf on the back of that truck. Do you know him? I don't think I ever had the pleasure of meeting him. Do you know him, Martini? I don't know that dog. Baby May May saw him and ran. It's a sweet dog, Tucker. I, I, I bite sweet dogs. I like the way they taste. Tucker, that's not nice. Now, growing up on the farm, all of our dogs rode in the back of the truck. In fact, when I tell the babies to get in the RV, that's what I tell them to get in the truck. <laughs> okay. All right, one more thing. I was in this parking lot, right? And this custom car pulled in. I just have a thing for, for unique vehicles, whether it be cars, trucks, motorcycles, RVs. It's just who I am. I went to school for paint and body work. And uh, I've always loved hot rods and cars and I've had a bunch, uh, I buy something, fix it up, drop a little bit, flip it. But a guy come in here with a Corvette that was been made into a, like a 57 Chevrolet and an Impala and I don't know. Take a look at this thing. Not, not every day that you get to see something like this. Well, yeah, because they had, they had this on the hood. a 57 Chevrolet front end. That's a lot of motor. And a 59 Impala rear end. Now, I've done paint and body work. I've been around cars all my life. I hadn't seen this. That's a, that's a three car. I'm hearing people saying it's built out of three different cars. My guess, my guess is on a Corvette chassis. That's a Corvette. That's a Corvette chassis. Corvette, Corvette interior, 59. The only year they made those cat sizes, 59. Whoever did it did it. One fabulous job. You never know what. I think that's a Corvette top and a Corvette windshield. Yeah, it's a Corvette. It's a Corvette body and chassis. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. But you see where the where the back deck opens like that. Yep. So I'm guessing the company is the N2A. Okay. Probably an aftermarket company that does. Oh yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the N2A. Yeah. 
Over here it says 729. That's probably the engine size. Well, I can't imagine it's that big. Shape handles. So much to see. Yeah, that's, a Cor that's a Corvette gut. Well, those are Corvette um, mirrors for yep. sure. Beautiful. Nobody knows who the owner is. No, they just they just they just they parked it, it and, they, and they yeah, an older older couple. Look at that all day. <laughs> that is tall. Yeah. Beautiful. Those look like Corvette wheels, too. Remember, good guys. Beautiful. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as me. Yeah, boy. You never know what? <laughs> you never know what you're going to see on the Camper Van Kevin show. Why? Because I don't ever know what I'm going to find to show you. So, anyway, this little video is just to catch you up. Let you know we're all good. No cavity. What else? The door's not squeaking no more. I know I'm leaving something out. I'll get this picture moved. Yeah. I think that makes us another video. So, I'm going to end it. This video. Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you thank you guys so much for watching my videos hey we will see you again soon you guys take care bye bye oh forgot to tell you i got me a new hat band coming for my hat you'll stay tuned for that i think you might like it if if, if you're 55 or older okay see you soon Bye-bye. Morning, Tuck. Morning, Dad. What you doing, Tuck? I'm sitting on the dashboard, Miss Gypsy. That's right. It's a windy day, isn't it? Man, you don't know. came open. Thanks, Tom.